And we are back, third member of the Elite Four here in Pokemon Platinum. Hardcore Nuzlocke. Um, again, no water types. So normally a water type would just have a field day here um, against Flint. But, you know, we're just going to use what we have. And I think Garchomp is going to do actually just fine. Um, we're going to keep Bronzong way away from the fire here as that's one of uh, his only weaknesses. But uh, if something happens to Garchomp, we're going to have to really... Um, Pull an ace out of our sleeve here but i'm really just going in hoping for the best with garchomp and again if something happens we'll just get flexible with it and um kind of just adapt as we go but i think we'll do just fine let's do this uh flint was hyping up our boy falconer before we fought him um which is really funny and now we get to face him ourselves Let's do this third member here. If we can get past Flint without any casualties, we'll have a full team going into the final Elite Four member and champion. So let's see what we can do here. Houndoom, very strong. I'm going to risk one turn as we did before for the Swords Dance. Just really capitalize on that, really forcing Houndoom to do something, and that is really good. Now all fire types are gonna be hitting um, twice as hard, but the thing is, it's hard for a fire type move to hit twice as hard if you aren't alive to use the move. <laughs> really bad joke there, but here we go. The whole point is we, we go out on a limb to use that sword stance to really capitalize on the sweep potential and put all of the pressure on Flint to answer the Garchomp now. Um, very similar strategy to what we do with Gyarados with the Dragon Dances. It's just putting so much pressure on your opponent. And if they deal with it, then you're kind of screwed because you just put all of your eggs in that basket. If they can't deal with it though, then you're looking at a really good time. So Flareon comes down is honestly just a really cute sacrifice there. Um, Sunny Day is only going to help them offensively. It's not going to help them defensively. So unless they have like a flying type or something that can eat that earthquake and maybe get a status down on the Garchomp, we are just going to be looking really good here. Uh, Magmortar is the best Pokemon he's got. Uh, might be able to tank this. Kind of a tanky boy here. But if not... Garchomp is just staring down the opposing team, and she is not caring. She is not caring. We get the critical hit. Just confetti right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rapidash comes down. This is just brutal. Can you imagine being on the other side of this and just being like, someone please stop the dragon? No. <laughs> But sir, there's no one that can stop it. Ah, oh, it's just terrible. Uh, just Garchomp having an absolute field day. Um, and even if they were able to get the burn, um, I made sure Garchomp had a um, Rossberry to deal with that. So Infernate is incredibly fast. Might be able to do something here. Nope. Just stares down the dragon hoping, praying for something to give. But this is also why, disclaimer at the beginning, if we ever do a second Platinum run in the future, or if I lose this one, um, then the next one I will not feature Garchomp even if I get that as a first encounter. So really good stuff there. Uh, the first two were a lot closer than that. Um, but really all I had for that fight was Garchomp, and if something happened to where I couldn't use her, then we would have been in quite a pickle. So thankfully Garchomp just flexing hardcore there. Um, really clean fight, really clean sweep. Um, we take that. When you can pull off the sweep, you just gotta take it. Every um, every life counts here on the, the Nuzlocke. So that will do it for this video. We move on to the fourth and final member of the Elite Four. Really excited, really hyped. Let's do this. Thank you for your time as always, and I will catch you on the flip. Peace.